I want some very serious warmth through the picture as you would have noticed off the previous one there wasn't a lot of a bluish tone used at all I do prefer to work instead with a very light violet once again taking into account the tone of the paper to help it play out just a little bit by little bit process finally getting there I'm grabbing the point of my ultramarine. I'm just putting a couple of flecks through. Doesn't have to be anything major. Just enough that we know it's there. Put that in place. I then move down into the next area, the base of the main. In this area I'll actually start off a little bit lighter than I normally would. Running the lighter of the tones through, that being my raw umber from my Windsor and Newton range. Over the top of this, I can then introduce my warm greys. Let's just help give it a bit more depth. As you can see, it's a constant layering process. We're working over and over and over. And until no particular colour becomes a true read, everything is working in unison. Warm over cool, cool over warm, everything playing together. To create textures and tones that you don't find in the normal range. Even in this area here, which is quite dark, I can go in with a much softer pastel. This being from the Schminky range. And laying some lighter hair. Without it being so strong as to completely take away from the toning I've already placed in. And of course that will just be built upon with other tones to warm and cool accordingly. Now that we've got the base of that in place, we're going to get there and start dragging a little bit. greenish tone through. With so much greenery in the background, this colour plays a very important part in this piece. The key to any white surface is paying attention to the colours around it.
as it reflects and reads from it. for the upper part of the jowl here, which in reality is quite light. Let's give it a darker toning to start off with. Making sure that there's plenty of warmth in the tone that I'm using. So in time it pulls through as I want it to be. In the shadowed areas you'll always find you've got coloured greys constantly. They are an incredibly important part of the piece. I don't worry about where the darker edges of where the hairs on the face fall. I try and get there and leave a guide for me, but that's about all. No need to overdo that section at the moment. nicely at this point. I'm really starting to get a feel for that now.